Hi, today we're going to talk about the position of contact, meaning the actual position when the racket makes contact with the ball. I'm doing a backhand, I'm swinging, now I've hit the ball there. That's the position of contact. Little uh, information before that. Tennis, got to tell you, technique is not an easy, um, not an easy game to play. Games like soccer where you can go out and just kick the ball, everyone can sort of have enjoyment straight away. No enjoyment if the ball comes to you and you can't hit it. It's a tough game to master. I think it's also one of the reasons, uh, as people get better, that they stay in the sport for a lot longer. They don't chop and change a lot once they've established that they want to play tennis. Okay, having said that, let's just talk today about the position of contact on a forehand, right-handed here. Um, now, the, the forehand's a, an intricate shot. I could give you heaps of information, and that's why we're doing this series, because information's important and knowledge is important. But I could tell you a lot of things about forehands like that, that you can hit with this grip, you can hit with that grip. Uh, when you take your swing, you've got to do a loop. Or be careful that you don't let your elbow go behind you. Uh, and when you follow, you can't, the follow through, all this talk about follow through is not as important as the position of contact. If you're swinging properly, the, the, the follow through becomes automatic. Whoa, what a lot of information. That's almost impossible. So what I'm trying to do uh, is not try to make you into a robot, but there are principles, things, principles of all the shots. There are principles in everything. Gravity is a principle. If you don't want to obey the principle of gravity, you'll probably get hurt. I'm trying to give you just the principles of the shot, the main things, and these change and grow as we go in teaching and learning, you learning. Uh, I'm trying to give you the basic principles and keeping it as simple as I can to enable you to develop your own style. Sampras used to take the racket back down here. Lendl, I don't know if you've heard of him, he used to stick his elbow right up in the air here. Some players take the loop over here. They're, that's all style. All of them, and I've heard people disagree with this, but all of them make contact with the ball out in front of their bodies out in front of my body, not beside me, not behind me. And all of them are somewhat sideways. Someone will say, oh no, I saw so-and-so play and he had a, a grip here and he is very much front on, what we call, this is called front on. He's not really. In the twinkling of an eye, the grip determines how much sideways you are. Just go with me for a moment here won't go into a big explanation of that, we'll in another lesson. The grip determines how sideways you are. Now I might be one degrees here, that's sideways. I've lost the shot as soon as I'm front on. Front on is 100% on parallel with the service line. There are two principles that I want to get across here relating to the actual position of contact with the ball. That's our goal. If I was going to take a photograph, and I only could take one, that tells me most about your shot, I wouldn't take it on the back swing. That tells me a few things, but it doesn't tell me a lot. I wouldn't take it on the big finish with a smile. That doesn't tell me much either. I would take the shot at your position of the actual contact. That gives me the most information. The guy just hit the ball over there. Hit the racket head wasn't right. Um, ball just went into the ground. Won't go any further there, but I think you get the idea. So this is the, the area that I want you to think about most at the moment. And there are only two, two principles. All balls are hit out in front. I'm now hitting that way. You can be out in front of your foot, your hip, your shoulder, your body, anything. That's out in front. That's not. That's level with my body, and of course that's behind my body, if I'm hitting that way. Okay, that's principle number one. All balls are hitting out in front. If you want evidence or proof of that, it might be a good example, but it is, you will understand. If I was going to punch somebody, God forbid, I would do more damage if I hit them out there than if I hit them back here. Both it hurt and both it sting. Now, it, 
again, I apologise for the example, but it does make the point. I'm going to get more natural power if I hit the ball out in front. Rule number two, and I said this before, we're sideways at the point of contact. When we make contact with the ball, I'm now hitting towards you. I can be here. Notice my feet. It's not this. It's this. My feet, my hips, and my shoulders are all in line for the purposes of the shot at this time in your learning. All right? Proof. If I put my body, which we call front on now, my feet are on the baseline, and you were to push me in the chest, and I often get the young kids to do this because they have to really understand it in their own mind before they'll uh, make progress. If I'm pushed here, I'll fall backwards. I don't matter how strong I am. If I'm a little bit turned, I have the ability to sustain the pushing. Extra, something extra, I can transfer my weight from the back foot to the front foot. I'm not talking about hip rotation and all that stuff for later on. I'm talking about simple something that you can follow to get you going to learn the basics. Tennis has a lot, lot to it. Getting lessons over three or four weeks is a waste of time in the long haul. All right. So we're now coming down to the position of contact. I'm heading towards the camera. I am somewhat sideways, and I'm going to use my own position. As a coach, it doesn't matter if you want to hold the racket at the side. I won't use the names of the grips. It changes in different countries underneath a little bit, not, not completely underneath, but on that angle there, that bevel there, or you can go up to the top one which is at 45 up here. Anywhere between those three covers 99% of the shots. That's your style, that's your choice. Experiment with them. Most of us these days go to the sideways, straight up and down, or if you like, picking up the racket, that's your grip. Okay, we've got a plane coming over and I'm going to keep going. Sorry, we're near an airport. Okay, we've talked about your grip selection, but in the initial stages, even forget about that. All I want you to concentrate on are the two principles. I am somewhat sideways, I must make contact here. Now I'm not talk. I must, this is the position. So I'll ask people then to go to it again. Go to your contact position of contact. No, that's wrong. It'll be the same. That's wrong because bottom out, leaning, obviously too close, behind me, too far in front. We have to make this something in our mind that we can feel and go to at will. It has to become a habit. All right. Tennis is also to learn properly, creating good habits. That's our habit for position of contact on a forehand. I've got good news for you. All the shots that follow, backhands, volleys, smashes, serves, obey those two principles. Thank heavens. Imagine if we had 495 principles we had to obey when we we're trying to hit a shot. More of that later. I'll now go to a group. Uh, with some of these are uh, uh, absolute beginners and some of them are a couple of boys that have played a little bit and are now up to playing fixtures. But all, all young people, all very young people. And the point I want to make, just, just have a look at it. Uh, where we started here was with the, everyone, the ball was just dropped and they had to show me that they could all get to the position of contact. Then we progressed through, we went to the formation and we'll go to that at the start now. We went to the formation where uh, some are at the net, some are at the baseline. We're covering all the shots, we're concentrating on the position of contact of the forehand and everyone's having a bit of fun. Then we took it further uh, uh, after this, with, I won't go into it now, and we went more individual with, uh, with uh, four balls each. If you hit the balls to me, uh, you get more than four hits, making it more fun, cementing the position of contact. I'm not too worried about perfect position of contact, I want them to just be obeying the two principles, and that's what I want you to do. Sideways and out in front. Alright, let's go to the kids. Bye-bye.